Caesar Act is the fresh batch of economic sanctions imposed by the United States of America on the war-torn Syria in a bit to increase pressure on the Damascus government, which is scoring victories against foreign-backed terrorists. But how did the Caesar Act come to be? On 20 January 2014, two days before negotiations about the Syrian conflict were scheduled to begin in Switzerland, a sensational report burst onto television and front pages around the world. The story was that a former Syrian army photographer had 55,000 photographs documenting the torture and killing of 11,000 detainees by the Syrian security establishment. The Syrian photographer was given the code name Caesar. The story became known as the Caesar torture photos. The photographs are in the custody of an opposition organization called the Syrian Association for Missing and Conscious Detainees. In 2015, they allowed Human Rights Watch to study all the photographs which have otherwise been secret. In December 2015, Human Rights Watch released a report titled If the Dead Could Speak. The biggest revelation was that over 46% of the photographs, which is 24,568, do not show people tortured to death by the Syrian government. On the contrary, they show dead Syrian soldiers and victims of car bombs and other violence. Thus, nearly half the photos show the opposite of what was alleged. These photos, never revealed to the public, confirm that the Syrian opposition is violent and has killed large number of Syrian security forces and civilians. Many questions arise from Caesar's photos. The most important are questions about the true identity of the Caesar. Fast forward to December 2019, the Caesar Syria Civilian Protection Act was born as a centerpiece of efforts by anti-Syrian government opposition members who reside outside Syria and who most probably have witnessed nothing of the global terrorism against their country throughout the past nine years. This is not new though. This is typical in the CIA's regime change book. From the Kuwait baby incubators to Iraq's yellow cake uranium to the Libyan army's women raping stories. This is the U.S.'s last resort for regime change in Syria, and Syrians already see through it.